Hi guys, today I want to show you uh, the switchboards that I use to control the switches turnouts on my uh, layout. This section, uh, let me turn it on, is for the, this is a yard. That's right, let me show you. This is pretty long, it's about 12 foot long. All right. Yeah, there is uh, 32 switches on this section here uh, and these red and green lights uh, show the each switch, switch location so green means uh, the locomotive will go on the green line and uh, you can let me show you here this is the push button here, so you push and change the direction of the switch, you throw it, you can see, very easy. Let me show you one switch here, and they work really smoothly. Alright, uh, I'm using Tan Valley Depot Octopus 3, with the, these are the fascia controllers, and uh, the switches here, you can see there is a lot of switches, these are toggle switches, center off, so what they do, they uh, turn off the power to this for example, this section of the track. So let's say if there are locomotives here idling, I don't want them running, so I just turn, put it to the center and it will turn the power to the track, turn it off. So, so this section here is right there. There's two locomotives here. Uh, let me flip the switch oops oops sorry the DCC controller is off let me turn it on okay so I'm gonna flip the switch now so right now it's on That's the 9819-9. I'm going to turn it off now. Alright, so all these tracks here, you can, all these tracks, they have a switch hooked up to them so I can turn them off as you can see here uh, so this way uh, I don't have to worry about uh, locomotives running and uh, using track power all right so again these ones here are for this turntable section here and the shop also the tracks inside the shop these are hooked up to the uh, switches too, so I can turn them off. All right, um, uh, this here, this switch here controls the turntable. Okay. And uh, let me show you the back.
All right. Uh, yeah, I made the board uh, kind of oversized so I can work easily. As you can see, there is a lot of wires going here. <clears throat> I didn't want to cramp everything in small area. Um, so what I have done, so this is the bus power that brings the DCC power to the switches, to the tracks. These are the switches. They go to the tracks here. These are the wires. They go to the yard. Um, also another thing I have done on this uh, fascia controllers. Uh, usually these LEDs come mounted on this uh, fascia controller. So what I've done, I have taken the LEDs off and I've uh, installed short wires there about inch and a half, two inches long. So this way I can uh, mount the LEDs wherever I want. Uh, you can see on the face here they're on different uh, positions. So it's easier to uh, mount the LEDs. Alright, let me show you the controllers. Okay, these are the Octopus 3 controllers. Uh, I don't know if you know, but uh, Tan Valley Depot, they don't make these Octopus 3s. I'm glad I had bought enough extra. I knew I'm going to expand my uh, layout. And uh, I bought a few ahead of time before I even built the layout. So I'm glad I did because uh, right after the owner uh, got cancer and uh, basically he retired. And uh, I had enough Octopus Street to cover all my uh, switches on my layout. Uh, Alright, so yeah, the, each of them control uh, 8 switches. There's 1 through 8, 9 through 16, and each one of these switches have been numbered. So this is the last one, number 32. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of switches. Uh, and also, uh, I have built this kind of custom hinge here <laughs> with wires so I can flip this down and work on it. And there are three screws here which hold the switchboard in place. Let me show you. So down here so there's a lot of wires down here going and each I uh, use servos to control the switches and each servo is uh, numbered you can see and it's kind of hard to work under here so I'm using this creeper, I lay on it and uh, work under the layout to do the wiring. Alright, let me show you my other uh, boards I have built. Um, there are some little ones, like single ones, to control uh, the switches. Let me turn on the lights for the layout so you can see better. Okay, so this one here, uh, there is eight switches control this section here. Uh, there is a mine and so it controls this section. There is this one. I don't know how many there is. I think there is tw 24 of them here. And, uh, and this is a turntable and controls this section here, the yard. And this is the turntable. So what else I have done? I have installed this uh, toggle switches on the side what they do, they turn off the power for let's say three of them for this section here 
cuts off the power and there is another one there's lots of switches on the fascia they turn off the power uh, to the tracks like for this yard here and also for the uh, shop there and that's I have installed this automatic doors for the shop and uh, these are controlled by this push buttons here so there you go and this other toggle is for the turntable oh the power is off all right so one more um, switchboard is here let me turn that one on power is down here okay so this one controls this section here you see there's also a turntable and there is also a transfer table uh, the transfer table controller is here I've Put a switch to turn it off, and also again toggle switches for the tracks. And also, I have installed uh, uh, two cameras. Let me see if I can can see better. So this one shows the tunnel, which is right here goes inside the wall right there and I can switch this to another camera Let me so this one shows right here this section goes all the way down to the end to the yard from under here I'll show you so that tunnel uh, on the top level goes and comes out there and goes all the way down there to the yard so it connects the top level to the center level and this helix here goes to the bottom layer is two these are the these two are the uh, my staging yards you can see so I have also put another switchboard here it controls the servos there are two over there and also controls the switches here so there's gonna be a city basically here a city scene all right uh, and there's this section here which has also two switch controllers one here and one here and the back and the rest are manual you can see because this area is so low I couldn't work and put like uh, servos and wire it and stuff so I put manual ones to make my life easier also I have installed the hex frog juicers on the fascia here you can see I have uh, put uh, plexiglass on on the top so you can see the lights it looks cool and also you can see the when it changes the polarity you can see the light all right uh, so this one here this is a double crossover or, and this here controls the turntable you can see Okay, so the other board is right here. It's a big one again. You 
Yeah, this one, I don't know, so I think another 26 or 32, I don't know. I think there is four uh, octopus trees. So there's, I think, another 32 switches here. And also there is this yard which folds up and down, controls that. And this one controls this section here with another turntable. And I made a video of this crane, it's fully operational. You can go and watch it on my one of my videos. All right, so another, another uh, switchboard I have, it's here which is going to control doing some switches here. I have two left, two switches left I can use on this part here. I want to do a kind of city scene here. I'm not done. And uh, it's all that picture back there is temporary. So yeah, then I'm going to do a city scene here. It's right at the end of these uh, uh, container crane yard and stuff so all right um, yeah I have another frog juicer here ex frog juicer that controls this section here all right this is another board which controls this uh, container yard I'm not gonna show it to you guys yet because I'm working on it I wanna when it's done I'm gonna make a video and show it to you guys so I have a power switch here I can turn it on and off all right uh, so now we are at the other end of the yard here you can see that's the other end with the shop here it looks nice Okay, this uh, last board here, this one is half of the other big board, which was on that side of the yard and controls this part, this section here, all the way to all the switches there. So the reason I put this one here, because when I'm sitting here, I didn't want to run back there and throw switches, so I can do it from here. Uh, there are two uh, slip switches on this uh, layout. I'll show you. There's one here and one there. So the way they work, this is the slip switch here, the X. So when the lights are green, like right now it will go straight and when the two of them are red like this one here it will slip to the side basically so it will go that way if I do this now these two are red and it will go this way and two red uh, it's gonna derail so this it will go this way all the way straight here all green all right okay so that's it for now and uh, as soon as I have a couple of projects I'm working on and as soon as I'm done with them uh, and I have this bottom section here at the other side I have to finish I'm working on it I have this nice uh, breezes here that they go all the way across here it's it's four feet long it's really nice I'm working on this section and as soon as I'm done in winter time it's hard to work it's cold so alright guys uh, that's it for now thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and uh, until the next video Oh, let me show you one more thing here, which is pretty nice. I've done uh, is these lights here. 
you can see these are Walter's uh, yeah, kit. This, these things here, they don't have any lights in them. So what I did, I installed LEDs and ran the wires with very thin wires. So you, they are actually, they have lights in them, you can see. It was kind of hard to do, but I really like, they give it really authentic look. You can see, let me turn the light off. So you can see. All right, these are all LED lights. It looks nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and until the next video.